Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I felt that it was my responsibility to do this video. Uh, while my channel isn't exactly large, I do have a growing subscriber base who loyally watch uh, my videos each week. So whenever I genuinely am wrong about something or new data comes to light on a given topic, uh, clarifying the matter just feels like the right thing to do. Especially when so many folks uh, follow my advice on lifting nutrition and even life. As many of you know, for years I've used coconut oil in cooking and baking, and especially when engaging in uh, vegan ketogenic dietary phases. And I've promoted the use of coconut oil uh, time and again on this channel. However, since early August, I've dropped the coconut oil and made a switch to vegetable oil uh, wherever I use oil for dietary consumption. And I use this product in particular, which is organic, non-GMO, and expeller-pressed, and I've linked to it in the description for those that may be interested. Research has shown that even a high-fat vegan ketogenic diet relying on nuts and vegetable oil as fat sources still demonstrates lipid-lowering effects. So, what's wrong with coconut oil? After reviewing over 100 research papers published since the 1950s, the American Heart Association released an advisory warning against the consumption of coconut oil due to its 82% saturated fat content. They elaborated that coconut oil has been shown to raise LDL cholesterol as much as butter, beef fat, and palm oil. Yep, you heard that right. Coconut oil and palm oil can be as bad for your heart health as animal-based fats. Keep in mind, the long-term Adventist cohort studies, which had involved 151,332 participants in total as of 2002, found that vegans possess a 26% to 68% lowered risk of mortality from ischemic heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and cerebrovascular disease than do meat eaters. But it appears you can counter that benefit of the vegan diet for yourself by simply consuming coconut and or palm oils. Though, interestingly enough, Dr. Frank Sachs, the lead author of the advisory that was released by the American Heart Association, isn't actually against frying or even deep frying foods. Rather, it's about the types of fats that are used to do so. The better alternatives include canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, soft flour oil, sunflower oil, and olive oil, as they are all low in saturated fats and largely composed of monounsaturated fats. Just some food for thought. No pun intended. So, you can still enjoy indulgent vegan fare, just switch up the type of fat which you use to prepare it. Of course, if you overconsume calories, even with comparatively healthful food choices, you still run the risk of joining the ranks of approximately 160 million Americans who are currently either obese or overweight. Just remember, there's more than one way to kill yourself with food. Anyhow, a stir up discussion in the comments below and give this video a like to ensure that others find it easier. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button for notifications and to check back weekly, typically by Friday mornings. All three are avenues uh, that will help ensure that you don't miss new content from me. Also, check out my science-based training and nutrition ebooks and experience results like these for yourself. Programs that have my clients giving testimonials like... Highly recommend his ebooks. I saw results almost immediately. I have been seeing nice gains visually and on the weights in the first six weeks of this regimen. I'm beginning to see much more vascularity in my front delts and forearms than before. And... The upgraded man is giving me major gains to my physique. Three weeks in and my results are fantastic. Been consistent, following your advice since mid-February. Switched from basic 5x5 five five to upgraded man. In total, I'm up about 27 pounds. Noob gains, I know, but 100% vegan. And there is a product for every lifting goal. Beast Mode is all about aesthetics. Developing a lean, muscled body that'll turn heads in public. 
whereas upgraded man is for intermediate and advanced lifters who want to become bigger, stronger, and develop that intimidating yoked look as seen on football players, wrestlers, and mixed martial artists. Finally, Rocket Old School is for beginners who want to build a solid size and strength foundation, but also for intermediate and advanced lifters who can't afford to train more than three days per week tops, but want to keep maximizing size and strength. Or you can get the best of all worlds and save a little over 17% by purchasing all three of my eBooks as a bundle. You will find all of my eBooks and more linked in the description below. A lot of time has gone into putting each of these together, so by purchasing any or all of them, you are showing your support uh, to me and this channel, and you're getting something that I feel is genuinely useful in return. I want to thank you all for your continued support. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.